only a few hours left with my cousin Goldie before she has to catch our flight. It's mine and my older cousin's last day here today. Tomorrow we fly back to London and China. So we're just gonna go and get some lunch. There's a beautiful breeze outside, it's necessary because obviously of the humidity. I seem to be the only one that I've seen with hair like this. I don't know, maybe it's because I don't put any product in my hair, that's the problem. I'm gonna learn from now on. Maybe I should buy like frizzies or something like that. But we're so hungry, we slept loads because we only had three hours sleep the other night. There, I can see a crane carrying a tree in front of me, how random. How random is that? Never seen anything like it. <laughs> you guys hear that screaming? That woke me up earlier. Because we're not far from the main square. Every other day there's some sort of anti-government protest going on. our food from this cold freezer and we put it into a tray like these people have done which is pretty cool so here's mine here's my cousins she's picking so they weigh up your food and my cousin's got her translation app this is, comes in really handy when you come to a place like this so she put in for me non-spicy I want a little spicy. You want a little spicy, so that's what that says. So she'll show that to her them and they understand. And they weigh up the food and then they'll go and cook it, cook it and bring it to us when it's ready. And here is the end result of my food. And there was me thinking that I hadn't actually put enough in. That looks good, it smells good. Mm -hmm. gone to drop Goldie off at the bus stop because your girl needed the loo desperately all of a sudden <laughs> so I'm just waiting for her to come back and then seeing as today is our last day here we're gonna go and hit the shops again I need to go and buy gifts for like my nieces my godson my best friend and just maybe buy a couple more things maybe see something from my parents and just basically try to enjoy the last day we have here We've both got early morning flights, so we need to get to bed early. Pfft, who knows if that will happen or not. And then, the joke is, I've got to go to a wedding on Sunday. So as soon as I touch down from Heathrow, I've got to get home, get changed, and drive to past Croydon in Epsom somewhere, because that's where my cousin's getting married. The girl's going to be up like 36-something hours. But it's one of those weddings where I have to go, I have to go. It's not one that I can afford to miss. You guys know how it is, certain family members, if you don't go, but at least if one of your family members is there, it's not so bad. But no, all of us have to be there. My brother, sister-in-law, my nieces will already be there. My mum and dad will already be there, so I have to literally drive myself. So tomorrow, <laughs> it's just gonna be non-stop, non-stop. I'm tired in advance. <laughs> imprisoned so all these people come out every weekend to protest her release and to obviously scream and shout about the current president moon whereas they believe that she should be released so literally every weekend because this is how it was last Saturday but it seems to be a lot more today yeah this is huge look I respect people to do this to be honest I mean if you've got something to say protest peacefully and that's what they're all doing they're all doing a live sit-in obviously it doesn't help us tourists who have somewhere to go but if you want to protest that's the way to do it is to interfere with everybody else's lives fair enough Shalina is becoming a political warrior here signing her name to ask for ex-president Park to be released from prison 
They're doing the same. She's from, she lives in China. I'm happy to um, support people like this. She told us what the problem is, what they're dealing with. So again, as foreigners, we're happy to sizzle the police. To be honest, they ain't got much to do other than keep law and order, but the protesters here are very, very peaceful. But they've got them all out here in force, just in case things kick off. Hopefully it won't. And then there's us two, trying to find a cab so we can go shopping. And this is right behind all of this. See, there's that. You literally turn around here, and then you've got this. On our way to Namdaemung Market. Dongdaemun. Dongdaemun. My language skills here are appalling. This is Namdaemun where we were. We were yet. in Namdaemun. We're now going to Dongdaemun. Dongdaemun. Dong Namdaemun. Dong yes. Dong Two places. <laughs> shopping. To go shopping. Yes. And cabs here are relatively affordable. Obviously, it depends on traffic because they charge you per how long you're in the cab. Um, it's better to get white or yellow taxis rather than black ones because the black ones are considered deluxe. Oh, that's pretty. They're considered deluxe even though we went in one and I don't know what was deluxe about it other than the price. So, and you can hail them down in the street same way you can in like London. And the prices are relatively affordable. We've normally paid probably up to 10,000 one which comes to about eight to nine English pounds that's I think only we've only had to pay up to 20,000 when we've gone a bit further so it's relatively so we're back again and this is fresh fruit that they blend up so you have a smoothie no additives no extras just literally fresh fruit so here's my smoothie it costs 7,000 one so call it a fiver and it's full of mixed fruit and it's so refreshing and amazing so we are now back at this mall this is the one in, uh, uh, na is this Nam Dae Mung? Dong Dae Moon. I keep getting them confused. Dong Dae Moon. And this is the one that's open from 10.30 a.m. till 4.30 a.m. So this is where I bought my Cola Cola t-shirt from. There it is up the other day. So I've come back here to buy more. I want that one that says period. This place has got basically lots of affordable brands, cheap brands, ones you can haggle for. But again, like I said to you guys the other day, these literally jumped down your throat. As soon as you stand there, this woman was breathing down my neck and I was like, what do, what do, what do, what do you want? I'm just like texting somebody on my phone, go away. But you do get a lot of cool stuff in here. It's definitely worth visiting to get lots of good deals. So I've managed to get to the top floor where this appears to be all the random beauty stuff, beauty stickers, all kinds of stuff. This shopping centre is huge. So this is the floor with all the imitation shoes which I'm leaving. If it ain't real I ain't wearing it. 
I just saw imitation Manolos, imitation Jimmy Choo. Well, at least they're honest with you. They actually say this is imitation. At least they're not trying to front like it's like the real deal. So it's not like anybody's being lied to. It's down to you, down to individual choice. Say no one judging, just saying. Like this woman was trying to sell me imitation Chanel and all I was doing was texting my mum and I'm like, where did you even come from? And then as I moved away she followed me and then I had to get rude and then I feel bad because I don't like being rude to people unnecessarily but sometimes you've got no choice man. So I've just bought that M&M's t-shirt which is all of these beautiful bright colours. So on trend, so pretty. So we are back in Myeongdong for more shopping. How lucky are we that this is our actual area where we're living? So I've got to buy some souvenirs and things for the peeps back home and the weather is looking like it might rain but hopefully it won't. So we're making our way to Art Box. This is where I'm going to get some souvenirs for everybody. They've got so many cool things in here. Not just souvenirs, just random cutesy, weird, wacky South Korean stuff that you just can't buy anywhere else in the world. Here's all the different fans, some weird stickers and things, beauty stuff. See I love these like uh, hair bands. It's just great for when you want to wash your face and don't get your hair wet. So I'm getting some of these. See my nieces are my number one loves. So I'm going to get them some things from here. This place is great for kids stuff as well as adult stuff. Alright, so now let's go up to the second floor. Look at this, it's a contact lens case. So I'm getting this one for my mum. I'm getting this one for myself. And look at all the other ones that they've got. They've got a unicorn one, they've got a sets over here. This place is so cute and kitschy and weird, but cute at the same time. So these are really cool. What I noticed in Korea is quite a lot of cars have these stuck to the side of their doors. So when you open it, you don't bash it onto another car. How cool is that? And look at these tablet holders. So you can label your days, you know what days to take them. Nail clippers, toothbrushes, nail care. Cable winders, cable ties, wow. Cigarette case, electric massager. I love this stuff. I totally want to get one of these for my vanity. You know, to throw like cotton buds, cotton pads, tissues, instead of always using my bin. And they're so cheap. Like, look at that. 3,500 won. So that's like £1.50 for me. Or £2. These are weighing scales. I want one. But they're so heavy that it's just going to take on my weight limit on my suitcase. But oh my god, they're so cool. I've got boring, dry, white ones. Pretty skin. Look at this one, just sitting there like a queen. Just sitting there like a queen. And this is full of skincare. She's worn like a million sheet masks, gifts for the whole family. <laughs> is it heavy? <laughs> so we're in a restaurant. What you'll find in Seoul is a lot of restaurants have menus which have just got pictures on it. But generally in Seoul, most of the waiters speak basic English enough for you to figure out what you can and can't have. So in our last night in Korea, we're having Chinese. <laughs> I miss my food. <laughs> and look at how tiny our Pepsis are. They're like normally this big. And they're teeny tiny. And that, again, had warm water in it. What is it with this country and warm water? Like, I can't handle it. Alright, so we've had a wonderful last meal. 
I'm just doing a little bit of shopping before the shops close on my own. My cousin was not feeling too great. So I've put her in a cab, sent her back to the hotel. I think I've got about 45 minutes before the shop shut. Just have a little bit more of a look around. I'm down to my last few pence anyway. You know how it is at the end of the holiday. So I'm in a two house. This is buy one, get one free. 10 packs for 10,000. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna get a couple. So I'm gonna get these. So basically for 20,000, I get all of these. Okay, now that that's done, I need to find another Oliver Young because I want to get some more of those nail stickers because they look absolutely amazing and Charlena's nails are so horrendous that you have not seen them in this entire vlog. Because I got my nails done before I left at the worst nail salon in Harrow, Nail World, let it be known. And my nails chipped the following day. By the time I got to Korea, half my nail polish had come off and I ain't got no nail polish remover. Jokes. Okay, so we have success. The guy was not telling fibs. I can see in the distance, the big one, the big mama, the Olive and Young. Okay, so I got what I wanted, well, sort of from Olive Young. I went into another etude house. I'm just gonna have to do a proper haul for you guys to show you everything that I got, because I'm going in and out of shops, buying one thing here, one thing there, one thing here, one thing there. And because I'm in a hurry before the shop shut, I, I'm not getting my camera out because my hands hurting, my arms hurting, everything's hurting, feet hurt, brain hurts, mouth hurts. the shops and I'm gonna end this vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I've shown you in South Korea in Seoul and Jeju Island and thank you to my cousins as well I won't show you one she's lying down at the moment she's tired she's got a long journey home tomorrow as do I um, but if you've got any comments or questions ask me below I'll try and answer as much as I can um, other than that bye <laughs>